So Jim, you've been in the industry and you had a newsletter for job seekers and also for recruiters. So I've, we mentioned previously that personal branding and content creation are the keys to differentiate job seekers to say. But in terms of resumes, when they are sending, and we know that there is the applicant tracking system that's kind of uh, good and bad at the same time. So what can job seekers do to make their resume on top? Is there any four specific tips that you can give that they can use practically? Sure. I would say there are at least four things should be on your resume mm -hmm. and ideally for every role that you've ever performed. Mm -hmm. One, uh, you explain how hiring you, the company was able to uh, save money. So you save the company money mm -hmm. uh, in your role. Yes. Uh, you also uh, made the company more money. They were more profitable. So not only did you save the money, but you made the money. Uh, you created processes that made them more efficient mm -hmm. and uh, you were promoted in your role or you were promoted in your role and eventually recruited out, if, if you can honestly say that. Mm -hmm. So what, what those four things are again, uh, it makes you, a, it, it puts you in the uh, spotlight as being a star player because say you were hired on as a junior software developer, but by the time you left, you were a senior software developer and you left because somebody recruited you out. Uh, but the time that you were there, you were always being promoted that suggested recruiter that you're a, a strong worker. If you make things better, that also make you attractive to an employer because they can think to themselves, if I hire this person, yeah. they're gonna improve things around here, right. uh, which is always good. If you can make a company money, <laughs> they will <laughs> always love yeah. you. Yeah. And if you can save a company money, but still maintain a certain level of quality in your work, yeah. then a company will also love you that way as well. I always tell my clients, you should show accomplishment. You should show numbers. You mm -hmm. did. I created a training manual which increased you know, productivity or decreased uh, uh, absenteeism or something in the resume. But what about a lot of immigrants or international students coming in? Maybe they don't have those accomplishments or they don't have anything related. What can they do then? In the meantime, I, there are sites out there like... Um like guru.com, G-U-R-U.com. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're called um, uh, freelance job websites. Okay. These are sites where you can take on very small projects. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe someone wants you to, to um, edit uh, a web page, or maybe someone else may want you to, um, uh, I, I don't know, do a small program or whatever. Mm -hmm. You can get experience in these little small project sites and, and then you can say, hey, you know what? I don't have years of experience as a software engineer. Uh, and I'm thinking that because I did a lot of technical recruiting. So I, you may say, I don't have a lot of experience as a software engineer, but I have been um, creating programs uh, for clients on guru.com. Mm -hmm. Look at all the ratings I've had. I got three-star ratings, four-star ratings. Yeah. That, that is indicative of my work. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is something you can do in, in the interim. Okay, those are great tips. Thank you for that, Jim. And I hope the audience listening, they will implement some of the tips that we've mentioned in their resume.